Hello all, this is Tushar from CodeWithTK.net. Let me start a new Jupyter Notebook. So I'm opening a new Python 3 Rename it Classes. So what are classes? So basically class is, is an object, an object-oriented concept. It's an object where we can combine the data and the method together or the operations together. What do I mean by that? Imagine a real-world scenario like a person person has two hands, two legs, person can run, walk, eat. Okay, so this run, walk, eat, this can be considered as methods or operations. And person has attributes like person has two eyes, two legs, etc. Those are, those are the attributes. Similarly, if you think of, uh, let's say, email, okay, email has body attachment and everything. And you can send email, process email, those are some kind of operations. Okay, so this this is a, about class. Okay, now let's see how we can define a class. So in order to define a class, the simplest way to define a class, let's say I want to define a class called A. I would just say class A colon and then I just say pass. This is the simplest form of a class. Now I have already defined a class. Now I can create an obst object or instance of this class okay so that means by definition of this class i create a type i define what are the attributes and methods we're coming to that now how we want how can we create an instance of a class let's say i'm created an instance of a class as a and i'll say a open and close parenthesis so that has created a class now if you want you can create an attributes after instantiating but that's not the best practice let's say i want to create an attribute called text okay i can just do it like that that works and if i just try try to access test.txt it works however that's not the best way to do it so let's let's see another example of a class let's say i have a class called person so i'll define it like that class person colon now um, usually the car class have a special method called init that instantiate or initialize the value of a class so the way we can define it is we say def for definition then we say underscore underscore init again underscore underscore then we open create open and close parenthesis then we have to create a special argument that's called self self always has to be there now let's say person has a first name and last name so i want to create these two attributes called f name and l name self keyword is to mean that self is an attribute of this class self dot f name is equal to f name self dot l name is equal to l name okay so yeah i have defined this class i want to define a new method or operation so let's say i want to get the name of this person how we can define this you can say get def get name then i'll just say self here I don't need to pass any arguments okay but I want to return I want to return the first return the full name okay let's say I want to return first name followed by a space followed by self dot lm okay so if I define this class now let me create an instance Okay, let me create an instance of this class. Let's say p is equal to person. And then here I have to pass the parameters because it has it takes two other parameters apart from self. Self, it's called first name and last name. So I say first name is equal to person, last name. Okay, so I've created this one instance. Now if you want, you can directly access this element. For example, person dot first name, it gives you the value. The person dot l name, it gives you the value. Alternatively, you can also call that person p dot get name. 
now if you, you need to define it again Oops. so yeah here you go so you can get you see the get name is coming okay there is another special method it's called str so for example right now if i just try to say string version of this class okay it just says that the person object at this instance this memory but usually you know there is a if you just override that str method of any class okay this is called a special method then you would see that we can actually override the string method now i'm just defining another function called str underscore underscore str underscore then i define this then again i do this self now let's say i want to return the same thing okay first name i'll just copy this okay now if i create this class again okay now everything else remains same but if now i call this str let me just do it here str p you see now it's returning my first name and last name this is because i have defined i have overwritten the self function here so here instead if you want to distinguish you can add anything let's say i want to add two stars here so if i just uh, create this instance again and run it you see the stars are coming i'm moving on now you know there is something called inheritance in a class concept so what is inheritance basically imagine that a person is also could be an employee could be a student could be anything that means the employee employee would is also a person that's why employee would also have the same attribute that a person has on top of that employee may have additional attributes and additional methods for example employee might have his salary as an additional employee additional attributes also employee can have a company name as additional attributes however employee is still a person so how we can define employees we can create a uh, we can create something called inheritance or the subclass basically i can define a class called employee employee then i can define the way to use a subst substance is like this person okay so basically this person meaning it is extending okay so let me just remove this uh, text from here so that we can see both both the class together okay so now i have this class person and the class employee i'm just defining a class employee and this is saying this is we are extending this is action we are extending person okay in this employee let's define a init method again i define init underscore underscore then i will define as self okay and then employee would also have first name also have last name the same employee has additional element called salary this first name and last name i don't need to define another operation let's say i don't need to define if i want i can do it but instead of that i can make use of this init method and how we can do it is we can define something called super so super is to say that okay go to the parent okay go above super then i can access in it access the init method of its parents is to call super then underscore underscore then the method i want to access is called in it then i can pass this first name and last name so i can pass this first name and last name but you know we have a additional element called salary that i can define it here because person may not have salary person may not be employed okay so that's how i can define an employee class now let's say i want to define a new element called employee okay employee let's say i give a name 
and then some salary plus say 1000 okay now i have this um, object created now if i just want to see that e dot f name to share now you can also you can still access the get name which we have not defined okay you can see try to do get name so it still works not only that you can just still also use str that still works okay now employee dot e dot salary so now we um, so you got another class called um, company okay i'm defining a class called company now yeah, again let me delete this cell so that we can see employee and company together okay so company i'm defining another method called init Yeah, this is a common method almost every class will have this method now the this this employee this time employee i just want to add add one more uh, value that is the company name i can give first name last name salary and i can say company name okay i can say company name now um, now here the challenge is okay company name okay so here what we want to do is okay let me define a new class called company company okay now let's say company as a company we can define another method called init let's say i give something called name okay and i say self self dot company company name is equal to name okay so yeah i have defined a company and company has company just takes the name actually you can you could use company name or anything that should work okay you can uh, let's say i, I just initiate a company c if you want I can do it company and then here I have to pass the name say Google okay so I've created a company and if I just see I uh, try to access C dot company name it says Google okay now uh, let's uh, let's define the class again class employee again this time I want to inherit it from both person as well as company. I wanted to see how the multiple inheritance works. Class, class employee. Now I want to inherit from person and company, both. Okay. So this is how I define. Yeah. So now I need to define init method. Here. For this init method, I need to pass the first parameter as self. Then I need to pass, let's say I want to pass first name, last name, salary, and the company name. Now, now here the challenge is we cannot direct, we cannot just use super because here we have super if there is only one parent class then i can use super because i know they have only one parent but here if i use super there are two um original class okay we have inherited from there it could be two or more than two or anything okay but in that case we super will still create a confusion so instead what we can do we can refer the class name let's say to refer the class so basically here in this case first name and last name i want to call the person um, in it method so that i can assign first name and last name and for company i want to call this company company in it method so that i can set the company name so one super will create an ambiguity that's why wh what we can do is we can call the class instance directly just like that it called person underscore underscore 
init underscore underscore then type self app name l name so now with this line basically i'm calling the init method of the person similarly i can do i can call the company company underscore underscore init init underscore underscore self then pass the company name and as usual salary we want to set it here salary is equal to yeah i mean self dot salary self dot salary is equal to salary okay so I, here i have defined this employee which is inherited from both the persons and company and I have called that person dot init and company dot init to initialize company name and first name. Now let's say I want to define another method for this employee. How to define a method called speaks? So employee may speak when many languages. So let me create a new method to do that. Now speaks then. You can uh, create another value. You can pass another value as a language and you can define that. Okay, you can assign, basically you can create an attribute variable from any method as well. It's not only from init, you can do it outside as well. Now here, I let me create a new attribute called language is equal to language. Okay. So now let me create a new employee. Let's say I create an employee one. Employee one is employee. Let's say I create first name, last name, salary, let's say one thousand. Uh, let's say company is Google. Okay. Okay, I think there is one underscore extra. Yeah, sorry about it. Cell. So this should be self. So I have created this employee or employee and which has salary and company is Google. Now let's say, okay, in this speaks language, I can create another um, another print method. Let's say, okay, let's say I want to create a print method here. Let's say first name so i could say that um, self dot first name plus space self dot l name plus i could say speaks self dot after this set, I just want to print this saying that, okay, so this employee speaks this language. Now let me create this employee again. Now let's say employee one dot speaks. Let's say the language is English. Now you see, this is depends, telling that this employee speaks English. Okay, let me create a space here. I can create a space. I can rerun it. Then if I set it, I say to circle speaks English. Okay, now let's say I create another employee employee to another employee object okay let's say this is kishore let's say paul let's say salary is 2000 and let's say the company is apple now let's say employee 2 now speaks germany say so kishore paul speaks germany so if you want to just check employee one dot language is english employee Two dot languages so this is how we you can make use of it class is very useful to organize your code let's say in your real life programming you have um, let's say you have a you're running a company you could have many customers you could have employees you could have vendors you could have products for all these cases to access or, or to organize your code you would define a classes different class and then you would define the relationship with all this i hope this is helpful thanks for watching if you like my video please please hit the like button please also consider subscribing to my channel thanks again